How's it going everyone? In this video, we're gonna be walking through how you can get a Postgres database hooked up to Heroku and your GitHub repository. And this is something that makes your life significantly easier as you are developing your code to really have a proper deployment pipeline for your project. And so what I'm doing here is I've already created a Heroku app called vs-bliss-dev. And inside this app, I have linked it under the deploy tab to a Git repository that I've created. And I did this by signing into my GitHub account and then I connected it to this repo right here. And so you will take your Flask app, which you will still be using your SQL Alchemy uh, database URI and that's perfectly okay. But you just basically take your code, you stick it into a GitHub repository and then um, you make sure to push commit and push your changes. And then the next thing you're gonna be doing here is under the overview tab, you're going to click on configure add-ons. And I've already added this, but you will configure and add the Heroku Postgres add-on and then you'll click on provision. This will create a database for your Heroku project that is going to let you uh, actually persist data much more reliably on Heroku, which is the reason why I'm doing this in the first place. And the next thing we're gonna be doing here is confirming under the settings after we've configured our Postgres database that we have uh, our config vars created. And so if I go here, I'm not gonna show you all of my config vars, but basically um, these are your environment variables uh, for your project. So I've got the database URL uh, environment variable defined right here. This is the Postgres username and password for the cloud database that uh, Heroku spins up for you for free, which is really awesome. So I'm gonna hide my config bars just so I don't give too much away. Um, and that is all you need to do on the Heroku side. Um, now, inside of your application, which I have here, I will open up my uh, project. So just give me one sec on that. If you open up your app, you will open up the uh, config file that you're using where you're defining your constants. And I need to make sure I don't expose too many of my <laughs> compromising uh, material. Um, but basically what we're doing here is we are telling in our config of our project that the SQL Alchemy database URI will be equivalent to the environment and variable with the name database underscore URL. And this database URL will, will correspond to the config var that we just created in Heroku when we spun up our uh, Postgres server. So once you've done this, uh, your app is now good. If you've just made this change to your app, I'm using GitHub Desktop. You're gonna wanna make sure that you push these changes. Uh, so you'll just type in your changes. So added database URL for Heroku PG database. You can hit control enter and then control P to commit and then push your changes. And then while that is deploying, um, the other thing that you're gonna need inside of your application is the package referred to as SciCopG2. Um, so it's PSYCOPG2. Uh, so you're gonna need to do a pip install on this. So um, you do pip install this package. This package, which I've already installed, is helping the Python app actually talk to the Postgres server. So after you've done this, um, and you'll then need to rerun your uh, pip freeze, and then uh, less than sign, requirements.txt to update your requirements because you've just added a new dependency into your project. Um, I haven't made any changes though, but if you are now just doing this and you've just installed the SciCop G2 package, um, you will need to do that. And then uh, the beautiful thing here is that when you go back into your GitHub desktop and push your changes because we've enabled automatic uh, deployments. As soon as you push to your master branch, your Heroku app will also be redeployed with the new code. And so once you have finished 
installing the Psycop G2 and updating your requirements.txt file. The next thing you're going to do is open up your app, which in my case was vs-bliss-dev.herokuapp.com. And if we click sign in here, we're going to get, or we should get, an internal server error. And this internal server error is going to be caused by the fact that you need to also run the db init uh, or db create all command. And so what I've done in my Heroku or in my project is I've created in my root directory a file called db create underscore pi. And this Python file is just importing the db object from my app and then it is going to run the create all command. And this is because when Heroku has provisioned your Postgres database, you need to actually create the tables. Otherwise you're gonna get internal server errors. And so make sure to then run this code by going to Heroku. Just pull this up. And what you'll do from Heroku is you will go to run console and you'll type in Python and because I named my particular Python file the db create db underscore create uh, dot pi just to confirm the name here db underscore create dot pi and you'll run this I've already run it but once you run this um, you will have successfully created the database tables for your particular project um, I might error out here but we'll see And once you've done this, uh, you will have successfully integrated uh, your GitHub account to your Heroku project, and you will also spun up successfully a Postgres database. So um, it's going to do a great job of persisting your data, which is amazing. Um, so now what we're going to do here is it's completed, and we can always go to the view logs section here and just confirm that we have successfully run the uh, database uh, creation. And once you've done this, you can test out your web app. And to do this, you just open up your web app name. So in my case, it was vs-bliss-dev.herokuapp.com. Sign into this thing. And I've already signed in, so it goes right in. But um, basically, this is how we can get Heroku working, uh, and hope this is useful. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and take care.